Hi guys, for today's video I have two prom makeup looks for you. I'm so excited to be bringing you this video because it is a collaboration with Alexandria Wagner here on YouTube. She is so awesome and hilarious. I will have her video and her channel linked down below. Definitely make sure to go show her some love and subscribe. Like I said, she's hilarious. Definitely a personality you want to watch. So for this collaboration, we are each bringing you two prom makeup looks, one being a little bit more natural and one being a little bit on like the heavy glam full beat side of it. I wanted to give you guys two options because I know there are people out there that don't wear a lot of makeup on a daily basis or want to tone it down a little bit for prom or don't want to wear a lot of makeup to prom and then there are people like me who like to beat their face to the gods every day cream contour highlight glitter and want to go all out for prom I really hope you guys enjoy these videos and the two prom makeup looks that we created definitely don't forget to send me pictures if you guys recreate any of my looks and I really hope that it was helpful and you were able to find some inspiration from my videos as well as Alexandria's like I said definitely make sure to check her video out so I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's just get on into the prom makeup looks. Hi guys, so getting right on into the first of the two prom makeup looks, the first thing I'm going to be doing is going in with the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. I'm going to be taking the shade Honey Butter and just building that up in my crease as my transition shade. This palette is such an oldie but a goodie and I haven't used it in a long time, but I figured it would be perfect for the more quote unquote natural of the two makeup looks. So like I said, I'm building that up in my crease as my transition. I just really thought for this eyeshadow look, like my goal was like simple but something because you still want that definition and like that glam on prom night but I know a lot of people aren't really down for like a full-on glitter smoky eye so after that I'm going in with the white shade I believe it's called heaven and I'm just buffing around the edges of my transition shade just to make everything gradient and to soften everything up So I did go to prom around two years ago now, which is so crazy that totally flew by, but for this makeup look, I did decide to kind of base it off of my prom dress, and if you guys see the shirt that I have on, the kind of blushy pink, that was about the color of my prom dress. I will actually insert a picture of me at prom right here if you guys are interested, but again, I just wanted to base this makeup look off of it, and I figured this mauve tone would be so perfect. It's really simple while being deepening and adding definition at the same time, but it's nothing crazy and still pulls super natural and complements a lot of different skin tones. So again, I'm just packing that shade on the outer corner. I don't know if I mentioned, but it's strapless from the Natural Matte Palette, and I'm just packing that onto my outer corner and kind of blending it up into the outer portion of my crease. For all over my lid, I really knew I still wanted to do something shimmery, something metallic. The NYX Prismatic shadows are awesome and super affordable. This is the shade Girl Talk. It's like a pearly champagne. It pulls a little bit more pink, so I figured it would complement the mauve on my eyes perfectly. So I'm just patting this all over my lid with my finger. This is just going to bring a lot of light and a lot more definition to my eyes, and the shimmer is going to flash back super pretty in pictures. I'm going ahead adding a little bit more of that strapless shade on my outer corner. I kind of lost a lot of that definition with all the blending and applying of the lid shade. So I'm just going in, applying a little bit more of that to add the definition back into my eye. Here I'm just spraying my little brush with some primer water and I'm going back in with the Prismatic Shadow by NYX to re-intensify and make my lid nice and metallic so that shade really pops. I decided for this look not to go in with tape like I normally do because I didn't want a super sharp and defined outer corner where the eyeshadow is, but I still wanted to go ahead and clean it up so it looks a little bit more put together. So I'm just going in here with a Q-tip and some makeup remover. I applied a thin coat of my favorite CoverGirl Clum Crusher and then I went in with some lashes. I decided to use the Ardell Demi Wispies because they're super natural and wispy would still add something to the look and I actually cut a good chunk of them. So I only had about three quarters of the lash left and it really only emphasized the outer portion of my eye but definitely feel free to skip the lashes if that's something you're not into I just wanted to add it for a little something more I'm going ahead and applying a thin line across the top of my lid to hide the lash band as well as add a little bit more definition to the tops of my eyes 
I'm mixing the shades Heaven and Lace Teddy for a little bit of a creamish pink brow bone highlight and applying that all underneath my brow bone to kind of further blend and highlight that area like I always do. I'm pulling back my hair and I'm starting to work on my face. I'm going in with this e.l.f. tone adjusting primer that was a lot greener than I thought it was going to be and I'm mixing that with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I figured since I wanted to go in with a thinner layer of foundation, I would do a bit of color correcting so that is definitely a tip for you guys if you don't want to wear a lot of foundation but still want the coverage try color correcting and stuff like that it definitely works for my foundation i'm not doing anything different i'm sticking with my maybelline fit me matte and poreless this is what i wore to prom and it held up super well my biggest tip when it comes to foundation is just to stick to what you know before i went to prom i tried maybe like five different foundations they broke me out they broke down on my face just stick to what you know even if it's drugstore the only thing i could tell you is to avoid spf and you will be completely fine i'm doing a little bit of concealing with my tarte shape tape concealer not a lot just enough to hide my under eye circles and to slightly highlight my under eye And of course, I'm setting everything with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I really think setting your makeup is what is key for prom, obviously. If you are oily and you don't set it, things are going to crease, things are going to break down. So regardless of what you put on your face, just make sure it is nice and set and it won't budge throughout the night. And I'm also just going to be taking that on the rest of my face as well. I'm straying away from Nylon by MAC for my inner corners. I know, so crazy. And I'm going in with something a bit more subtle. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. And then for my bronzer today, I'm using the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. I opted for this because it does have a little bit of a sheen. It has a slight shimmer in it, but nothing that translates too much on the face. It is just more of a luminous bronzer, and I figured it would complement the more fresh face look that I was going for. And even if you are not a blush person like me, I highly recommend throwing a little bit on for prom just so you don't look so flat in pictures. All the bronzer and the blush is what is really going to bring that life back to your face, especially in flash photography. This is the Milani Rose Powder Blush in Romantic Rose, just a super soft pinky shade that complemented the eyes really well. And even though this is more of a natural makeup look, I still wanted to pack on the highlight for that glow because I think it's really appropriate for prom. But again, you guys can change this however you want. You can definitely do less. This is the same Wet n Wild one that I used on my inner corners and it is absolutely stunning. And lastly for my lips, I'm going in with the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Bedtime Flirt. I just thought it complemented the eyes really well and I wanted to go for something super natural and soft but was like my lips but better kind of color. Again, when it comes to pictures, you don't want to wear anything too nude so you don't look dead in pictures. So this was perfect um, just to add a little bit of color to my lips without being too crazy. Of course, going in and setting my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray so your makeup doesn't come off throughout the night and going ahead finishing off with some fix plus to add a little bit more of luminosity and dew and that completes the first prom makeup look and now moving on to the more dramatic of the two all right, so this look is definitely my favorite, definitely more something that I would wear to prom if I was going back now. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is going in with the Morphe 35O palette, just such a classic palette with so many different shades. And I really wanted to go for something warm, something away from like the typical cool tone silver smoky eye. So I'm going in with a bunch of browns today and really just repeating the same steps. I'm only going to be showing you guys one eye just to keep the video a little bit shorter. So I'm going in with a lighter warm brown running this all through my crease and I am going to go for a bit of a halo eye so I'm focusing it on the outer corner in my crease as well as in the inner corner. Getting a little bit deeper another kind of mid-tone warm brown just following the exact same method just trying to leave the middle of my eyelid as blank as possible. Once that is all built up and blended out how I want it to be, I'm going in with, again, a little bit of a deeper brown, a little bit warmer, and doing the same exact thing on the outer and inner corners of my eye, as well as running that through my crease, leaving the middle of my lid blank. I really recommend just taking your time, blending out the shades, really building up the colors, because if you're impatient and you go in with the dark shade right away, you're just not going to have a good outcome. It's going to be really patchy and harder to blend. 
And the last brown that I'm taking is this deep chocolatey brown at the bottom right there. This shade I'm focusing mainly on the outer corner as well as the inner corner. I am going to slightly run this through my crease, but not much. I really want the corners to be a little bit darker than the top of my crease. But you see, I'm just like slightly blending whatever leftover product I have there through my crease. And now that all the shades are on there, I'm going to be doing a lot of blending to make sure everything has a nice gradient. As you can see, I kind of went lower as I went darker, so the lighter brown is at the top as my transition, all the way to the lowest point of the darker brown. So here, I'm just showing you guys, I'm going to be doing my other eye off camera, and now I'm coming back to do my eyelids. So for the center of my eye, I'm going to be taking Stila Kitten, a super pretty metallic sparkly champagne shade. I'm just packing that on the center of my lid with a little more. Morphe brush. I believe this is a G15. And then I'm going to be going in and just kind of blending out the edges with my finger. And then after that, going in with a brush so it's not like too harsh and too obvious where I place the champagne color. To top that off, I'm taking ColourPop's Alchemy. This is a sheer glitter top coat. This one isn't available anymore because it was in the limited edition collection, but I'm pretty sure ColourPop has brought out a permanent one that is also like this champagne-y, like, glitter top coat. Then I'm going to be taking a little pencil eyeliner brush, dipping it in a super dark brown and almost creating a winged eyeliner effect against the tape. Um, and then I'm just going to be blending it out so it's not too harsh. So when I pull the tape off, we're going to get an extra sharp edge and it is almost going to look like we have some winged liner because I used a darker brown. I really enjoy doing this. I really haven't been enjoying um, just regular liquid liner wings lately. And this is the technique that I actually wore to my senior ball. So it looks like you have on eyeliner, but it's definitely not too harsh, but still gives that same effect. I went ahead and applied some lashes. These are the Ardell Foam Mink 812 lashes. Super pretty. I do have a lot of trouble getting them on though. I'm not the biggest fan of the lash band, but I really love how they look in the end and they do look like really high-end lashes for an awesome price. I applied some mascara. I also did a thin line of brown liquid liner on the lash band on my upper lash line to kind of conceal and blend that all together. Then I'm moving on to face primer. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish. This one just smooths my face out so nicely and of course is going to prep my face for foundation and keep it on all night. I skipped foundation because I literally did the same thing as in the first prom look, just using my matte and poreless like always, and then I went into some cream contouring using my Anastasia contour kit in the shade medium. This one is just like a tad too warm for me, but I really enjoy using it as more of a cream bronzer. As you can see, it's adding a lot of warmth to my face. I did a lot of extra concealing than in the first video because I really wanted to not only conceal but really highlight and shape my face. So under my eyes, around my nostrils, my chin, and my forehead to really just highlight a lot and like I said to add to the really contoured and structured effect that I really like to get when I do a full beat like this. Of course, just setting that all over my eyes and under the rest of my face. I totally said that backwards. Under my eyes and all over the rest of my face. I wanted to go ahead and intensify my contour so I went in with my Anastasia powder contour kit and I took the most cool tone shade and I'm really trying to define the cheekbones and the tops of like my forehead and the sides of my face just so I have a super structured look. I'm also going ahead. I filled in my brows pretty dramatic so they popped off my face and framed my face for photos and just to match with like the rest of the makeup look and then I set them with some NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel so they don't go all crazy when you're like having fun and dancing at prom. And stuff so as always I'm going ahead and highlighting my brow bone with a matte white shade and then for my inner corners I'm putting on a lot of nylon by Mac you guys know my inner corner highlight is like one of my favorite things and for prom I just really wanted to intensify that for underneath my lash line I'm just taking pretty much all the browns that we used besides the darkest one and smoking that underneath my lash line pretty much all the way until it meets the white shade from my inner corner And again, just going in with some blush. Like I said, this is something I wouldn't do on a daily basis, but for prom, so your face doesn't look flat in pictures, just to have some life and some color, and so you don't look too washed out in flash photography. Now, for prom, you better highlight to the gods. You better shine like a disco ball when you're on the dance floor, because who doesn't want that super intense highlight for prom? So for this one, I needed to use my favorite highlighter of all time, the most intense, the most metallic, Rodeo Drive by Ofra. And then for my lips, I wanted to use a liquid lipstick, Anastasia Liquid 
lipsticks are my favorite. This was in the shade Ashton and it is just such a beautiful darker warm nude without being too dark. Definitely I would recommend a liquid lipstick. It is going to last. It's kiss proof and it's just going to like I said last throughout the whole prom night. And then to finish off everything I'm going in with my Urban Decay setting spray to lock in my makeup and that completes my two prom makeup looks. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and found some inspiration for your prom makeup whether you want to go a little bit more fresh and more natural like this look or a little bit more full beat like this one that I just showed you guys. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I hope you have an awesome and safe time at prom and I will see you guys in my next one.